Hello, the wetlands of Florida are home to millions of invasive Burmese pythons, posing a significant threat to native wildlife. This video will explore how hunters track and capture these giant snakes, their presence in Florida, the methods used in hunting them, and the regulations governing these activities. Burmese pythons were primarily brought to Florida through the pet trade. Many snakes escaped or were released into the wild, leading to a population boom. Since 2015, approximately 20,000 acres of wetlands have provided fertile ground for them to breed and thrive. With constriction forces of up to 300 pounds per square inch, these pythons pose a deadly threat to small animals, including pets. In just six months, over 200 dog attacks have been reported. Floridians frequently encounter pythons, often finding five-foot snakes in their homes, usually hiding in ceilings or under floors. The economic impact is severe, with damages exceeding $75 million and an additional $30 million spent on capture efforts. Fortunately, no confirmed reports of python attacks on humans have surfaced. In response to the ecological threat posed by these snakes, Florida authorities have launched organized hunting programs. In 2015, over 500 hunters participated in efforts to capture pythons by hand in the wetlands at night. Due to the size and danger associated with these creatures, the state implemented strict regulations for hunters. Applicants must score a minimum of 80 on the National Health Scale and obtain certification from the Florida Department of Health.
The hunt itself is challenging. Pythons can weigh up to 150 pounds and are notoriously agile. The hunter must be quick and skillful, often holding the snake's head to avoid being constricted. Hunting occurs from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. as this is when pythons are most active. The goal is to eliminate around 3 million pythons annually, but the snake's quick reflexes make them an elusive target. To enhance efficiency, hunters often use boats to access remote swamp areas, a method endorsed by the Florida Wildlife Commission. Each hunter must have a trained hunting dog, equipped with tracking devices to help locate the python. These regulations are designed not only to simplify the hunting process, but also to ensure hunter safety. According to the Florida Wildlife Conservation Commission, FWC, hunters must be at least 18 years old and possess a professional license. Hunting teams must include at least three individuals to ensure safety, and hunters must carry high-intensity lighting to improve visibility during nighttime hunts. Safety is paramount when hunting Burmese pythons. Hunters must remain vigilant for potential attacks, avoid sudden movements, and operate only with valid permits. Staying updated on the latest regulations is crucial as hunting is prohibited in protected areas such as wildlife refuges and national parks. The high value of python skin, particularly for luxury goods, has led the government to enact strict hunting regulations to prevent overexploitation. A python leather handbag can sell for millions, making it essential to balance hunting with ecosystem protection. These measures aim to protect the python species while ensuring wildlife stability in Florida. Have you ever encountered a python or seen one in the wild? 
share your thoughts in the comments below. Your insights might spark important discussions on conservation efforts and the challenges we face. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit the like button and subscribe so I can bring you new and better videos every single day. Thank you so much.